Hello, and welcome to the Small Lab Channel. Here at Small, we are interested in exploring the captivating world of chemistry and visualizing the atomic and molecular worlds. Today, we're diving into the captivating realm of conductors and insulators. Have you ever wondered why some materials light up our world while others keep their charge locked away? Stick around as we explore the differences between these two concepts and how they shape scientific research. Let's begin with conductors. These are materials such as metals that readily allow the flow of electric charges, creating a pathway for the movement of electrons. At the atomic level, conductors possess loosely bound electrons in their outer shells. When a potential difference is applied, these electrons can move freely through the material, forming an electric current. Now, let's turn our attention to insulators. These materials, like glass and rubber, resist the flow of electric charges, offering strong opposition to the movement of electrons. In insulators, the outer shell electrons are tightly held, preventing them from participating in the flow of current, even when a voltage is applied. Now, let's discuss how these concepts play a pivotal role in science research. Conductors find extensive use in various experiments. For instance, in physics research, conductive materials help scientists study electrical properties and phenomena, allowing them to investigate electrical conductivity, resistance, and quantum effects. Insulators are equally indispensable. In materials science, researchers use insulators to isolate and protect delicate samples from external influences. This is crucial when studying materials' thermal, mechanical, and electrical properties. The significance of conductors and insulators extends beyond the lab into our daily lives. Our modern gadgets and devices rely heavily on conductors. Microchips and circuits are meticulously designed with conductive materials to facilitate the controlled flow of electrons, enabling our technology to function seamlessly. Insulators are integral to power transmission. High voltage lines are insulated to prevent energy loss due to current leakage, ensuring efficient electricity deliver to our homes and industries. In conclusion, the distinction between conductors and insulators is more than just a scientific concept. It's the foundation of our technological process and research endeavors. Conductors facilitate the flow of electrons while insulators protect and insulate each playing a vital role in our quest for understanding the universe. If you found this exploration captivating, don't forget to subscribe for more exciting journeys through the wonders of science. We are the small lab at UCSD. If you're interested in learning more, make sure to check out our website. Thank you.